Uh, what's up guys, it's Wearing the Tessence on You 4. And before I get started, a many big thanks to Mr. Richard999 for the translation of Wizardry Empire, which never got any release uh, in North America. Um, so what I did here, I made a predetermined uh, part, I should say, and uh, pretty much got two fighters, a thief, a cleric, a mage, and of course a wizard. Uh, pretty much the same combination that I did on my Nintendo. Uh, which I owned. Um, so before I go down, I check my party, and that right now here I'm actually inside a dungeon, which is um, quite unique than the other witcheries that I played. First off, it's a pretty big screen for the Game Boy, and it got those also those bonus options there. Um, you know, unlock doors, you can rescue people who are dead, or for you can search for people well, who change alignments. But that's another story for another time. And here you can change the some options in the game, you know, the fight options, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get that later. And it shows a little awkwardly and such. So, uh, before I continue in the dungeon here, I'd like to note too as well, when I made my party, um, I used some of the, um, the best points in the game. For example, my first character, Thor, I used a bonus of 30 points. Ow, ow, ow. And and such. So basically all my party members use bonus of 25 points and above. It took some time, but it was definitely worth it. And what's even strange about this is that the mages, especially the uh, cleric, uh, they actually don't got any, uh, you know, as far as I know, any uh, healing spells. Among other things, including the wizard as well. And it's locked. So of course we we'll try to go to the other options there. There it says unlock. Oops, wrong option. They failed probably because maybe I am under level or perhaps I need a key. I'll try a few more times here. And you probably know as well that I shut off the sounds and music in this game because they're quite annoying. It does get annoying. Okay, so here here's the first battle of the game, Crawling C1, of course. That's Well, anyway, uh, you might notice here some of the fighting, um, especially the fighters. You can choose a normal fight, a fight that consists of trying to hit them, or a fight that consists of doing the best damage. So, uh, when I notice the battle screen there, it looks confusing, but it's not. And I praise the... the uh, translator to fit as much as it can into the battle screen as well. Of course, maybe because I got the worst weapons, but anyway. If anybody had played any wizardry games, they know that the beginning is probably the hardest, especially trying to get some decent items. Not only that, um, it's very hard to, to hit the enemy, so you'll be going up uh, in town to heal a lot of times. So here's one of the treasures, so I use my uh, thief here, it seemed to be a poison needle. And I got some kind of robe. Which I think the first witch, yeah, there's two or three robes, or four different kinds of robes, but there's only one type of robe, and the rest are cursed. So, tra la la. I thought maybe. Oh, points. Take these pairs. When I first saw this, um, I thought it was a pretty hard monster, but it's actually the creeping coins that were uh, shown on the first wizardry around the uh, level 2 and I should get quite a bit of experience in the game here but because I'm level 1 and because I keep uh, getting uh, calls for help um, you know anyway you probably noticed too as well that I'm not doing any scripting uh, when I'm doing this video here. I'm just taking it by what I see and with my uh, knowledge of previous Wizardry games that I play. I played the first two for Nintendo. Uh, I played also one for the Super Nintendo and I also played one for the PC. Well, at least the first one anyway. So right now I'm not getting anywhere in this game here and something tells me I'm going to die pretty quick. So now I'm going to stop here and continue with my adventure. 
Okay, we're back. That was a fruitless cause. That will pretty much kill my entire party. And I found a black new floor, which uh, I ran into a pit here, which I thought I'd probably go to the uh, second level. But all I did it was pretty much uh, lose hit points. So I start over. I then continue and see the, what kind of items and enemies, these different enemies, that I can fight. So right now I'm doing is pretty much going around uh, door to door and only try to upgrade my equipment but also give my party members enough experience to go to level 2. So here I'm just fighting some uh, world figures or at least level 1 mages. I'm not really doing that much damage to these guys here. Oh, so I'm finding Dryads now. That can be pretty much fixed if I had the Identify spell on, which I don't have at this point in time. So I defeated them well, quite easily. Okay, so looks like I don't think there's anything in this bag here, so... Let's see, I don't think I've got the spell in this arm. So what happens here if you use your thief is this witch. Uh, pretty much looks like I have a lot of traps there. It means that there's nothing in the bag, uh, as in traps wise. So I got some coins. At least 16 each, so I got pretty much uh, maybe 80 gold or 90 gold. Always useful. Uh, speaking of which, in the beginning of the game, you don't get that too much gold, so it's probably best if you go to the dungeons, get the gold, and get your upgrade. So, at the beginning, my th uh, fighters um, got leather armor and sword, which is dinky. Um, I believe my cleric got the mace, the thief got the short sword, and I got quite a bit of experience there. But it takes quite a bit of experience to level up, at least to level 2, so we'll probably be doing this for a little while. Uh, odd objects, so it's probably more of those creepy coins. So everybody who played the first wizardry, uh, the creepy coins are indeed hard to hit. And there was no way uh, to get rid of them that easily if you're low level. And not because of the hit focus for your fighters, you should hit them quite easily. Hopefully, anyway. There we go, so we got quite a bit of XP there. Fireboat. And BW is probably a ball. A ball for my thief, because thieves suck. At least in wizardry ways, at least the first one. I also made my thief a hobbit. Uh, Try to get the best abilities for my thief. So I don't think they're the best Fight fighters per se, if I ever choose a human f thief. Ow, 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 ow. And it looks like there's a white thing on the floor. More creepy coins. So the last time I hit a white box on the floor, it was a pit. Perhaps there'll be a message this time, but I'm not uh, looking forward to that. Uh, experience a little low. So what I'm doing now, I'm trying to find some spots in the game where monsters will spawn. Uh, that's probably the best bet. In the first wizardry, what you do is open the door and they're there. And they're pretty close to the base, so you can actually uh, fight them, uh, get healed, go back and forth uh, towards town. And you get your spell points up on the cleric so they can heal you. Of course, I don't got any heals yet. Well, we'll have to wait and see. So, I've got some good eye wings, so I'm gonna leave them all, though I'm gonna character the true evil. That's the last thing, I need level 1 evil characters with good characters. Okay, so I'm back to my home base, and what I'm trying to do right now is pretty much identify the items that I found between the monsters and see the items that I found are much better than the items that I equipped with. And you can see right now the 
next level is quite big, so it might take quite, gosh, it will take quite a while to get to the next level. And that there is a museum, so if you find any new items or new monsters from the dungeon, that will show up and get some identification on those particular items and all monsters. So, okay, so there's the bow, I assume it's a bow. Not bad, wow. You probably noticed right now, when I went to certain uh, places in town, my party has been disbanded, so what I have to do is I have to get my party back and very much identify those items that I found. Alright, so the ball I did found was a short sword, and by looking at the price of the ball, it looks like it's much better than the short sword that I have. So it's probably a good idea to equip it on my thief. And there's the rope. And by looking at the identification on, on the rope, it's, it's the same thing that the wizard is wearing. And good guess. Alright, time to head back down. Alrighty, so what I did earlier basically I was checking out some of the equipment that I can purchase in town, especially armor uh, for my fighters. Uh, so I did uh, first is pretty much upgrade the weapons uh, for my fighters. Uh, one of them has a great axe, for example, that I'll be using for my first because my first fighter is a dwarf, and dwarfs in this game are known for to be one of the best fighters in the game. Okay, so look, I'm fighting a not fighter, perhaps some kind of undead type creature. I'll go with that. That would be the seven Oh, well, that's the item. Took a big chunk. Um, LMI uh, female uh, type. Characters and yeah, you can actually make your own gender, so I'm not quite sure it makes a big difference in the game. Alright, 16 points, <laughs> not bad. Alright, so right now the only um, odd objects in the first level is those coins. Um, so it looks like they give the best experience so far in the game. Bisex? Did my character say bisex? But not too cool as well. Um, there's this thing to be an auto map in the game, but uh, one of the, one of the um, potions or items uh, looks like you can buy was is like an auto map. I'm not sure what it means. That costs like 400 gold, so I'm not not getting more objects. Um, if everybody ever played Wizardry, the map to Wizardry are insane. Um, I used the map the maps in the first Wizardry for the Nintendo, and they can be quite big, especially when you go out of bounds. You're using a teleport spell, and you're pretty much really stuck in rock. And once you're stuck in rock, you're pretty much gone, and you cannot be raised up by any means. And morales. And look at that, our first evil eye weeks. So I've only had a few hit points, looks like. So you probably know as well that uh, my character is still 311 hit points. Uh, because again, none of my characters can heal as of yet. And buying a healing potion costs about 100 gold, so it can be quite pricey uh, at this point in stage. So that's anywhere. So right now I'm done, I'm staying close to the base. Just to try to get my hit points, or at least try to get more experience to go to level 2. And once I hit level 2, I can reach a little bit farther to fight across more difficult creatures. And of course, I get my better items. And a little figure here. And that's not good. You definitely don't want your party start dying so early in the game here. That's probably best if they do die, or at least, at least one of them. Perhaps either reload the game or use a low state um, from the previous save. Saves you a lot of time anyway. 
Fighting some good banshees. And I need to pretty, do a uh, pretty good XP there. And poison needle. Fellas, I took. Neo RP took. <laughs> so, right now, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to try to see if get uh, at least better items for my companions. And the way I can travel at least a little bit farther while I can not get killed. At least not try to go in town that much and try to get my. My spell points back. Um, so I haven't really decided yet. I want to continue the series. Again, this seemed to be a good game, but again, it seemed to be one of those games that will take a lot of patience, a hell of a patience, and a lot of time. So this is Weird 77 and I am logging out.